to mathematics tutorial so today we will discuss on how to construct a frequency distribution for the given data so there are four steps or five steps in order to construct a frequency distribution number one we need to find the number of classes so formula in order to find the number of classes that is k equals 1 plus plus 3 log n so where n is number of number of population so that is number of population yung n ok number 2 we need to find the value of range so r equals highest value subtract lowest value that is the formula in order to find the range number 3 we need to identify the class size or letter c class size so formula that is r over k okay so ito yung steps in order to find the or in order to construct frequency distribution first tingnan natin yung step number one that is one plus log or plus three log n so number one we need to find the value of k so one plus three times what is the value of log n so ang n is number of population so la ilan lahat ito so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 times 10 that is 20 60 so that is log 60 so that is the value of n 60 so equals 1 plus 3 times so using your calculator log 60 that is equivalent to 1.7782 that is log 60 using your calculator or using your cell phone but e convert ito yan sa scientific calculator next simplify 1 plus this one multiply 3 times 1.77 Eight five that is five point five point three three four four. Then if plus mo yan that is six point thirty three four or the value of k is six. Tandaan, ito na yung number of classes natin. That is the value of k. Next, how to find the value of r? So step number two, the value of R is highest value subtract lowest value. So let's find the val highest value dito. So highest value is, that is, 11, oh tingnan natin, okay ito, 29. So highest value is 29, subtract lowest value, that is, okay that is, 10 okay that is 10 so 29 minus 10 that is 19 that is the value of r next tandaan the value of k is 6 the value of r is 19 how about the class size so c equals number 3 r over k so that is 19 over 6 so that is 19 divided by 6 that is 3.16 or that is positive 3. So number of or class size is 3. So ito na yung tandaan natin. Class size is 3. Step number 4. Kailangan lang natin. So tandaan natin the value of k is k is 6 value of r is 19 and yung class size natin is 3 ok next we need to construct a frequency distribution table 
Step number four, set the lowest value as your first lower limit. So, ano yung lowest value natin? So, that is 10. So, that is 10, 2, class is 3, or size of the class is 3. So, 10, 11, 12. So, 12, then 13, 2, 15, then 16, 2, uh, 18, next, 19, 2, 21, next, 22, 2, 24, 25, 2, 28, and 29, 2, 30, 27 pala ito, 27, this one, 28 to 30. So, ito na yung class limit natin. Class limit from lowest value until highest value natin, that is 29. Dito na bilong yung 29. Next, ito na yung class limit natin. Class limit. Next, how to find the frequency? Frequency. So, frequency is you need to identify kung saan yan nyo nabilong yung data. So, ito yung class size, 3. So, 10 to 12, that is equivalent to 3. 13 to 15, equivalent to 3. 16 to 18, that is equivalent to 3. 16, 17, 18, that is the class size. Okay, next. 11 is belong to this one. Okay, 1. Tali muna natin. Tali. So, this is 11 na belong sa 10 to 12. 16 na belong sa dito. 21. This one. 11. Dito. 19. Uh, this one. 19, dito pa rin. Next, 16, dito. 16, dito pa rin. 26, dito. 11, that is, belong here. 19, this one. Next, 16, dito. 11, dito. 19, dito. 13, so, ang 13, bilang 15, dito, 23, this one, 24, dito, 15, saan na bilang yung 15? Dalawa, 15, so dito, dalawa. Next, 11, dito, 15, this one, 13, dito ulit, 24, saan na bilang yung 24? dito 18 sana so, bilong 18 this one next 11 this one 10 dito pa rin this one 12 dito 11 dito pa rin 18 dito next 15 dito 17 17 dito 21 this one, 12, dito, 20, this one, 25, sana belong dito, sa taas, 17, dito, 21, dito, 14, dito, 12, dito, next, 16, dito na belong, 10, dalawang 10, 22 this one 21 dito 29 sa taas 11 dito then 13 sa so, nabilong yung 13 dito so ang 10 nabilong dito ang 20 this one 10 dito pa rin 27 dito 16 dito okay 13 
dito 11 dito 23 dito 27 dito uh, 12 sana bilong yung 12 dito 12 ulit dito 13 dito so tingnan natin so if we summarize or if we count the total frequency dapat the result is 18 yan so that is so this one is 19 so 1 this is 4 this is 5 this is 10 next this is 10 then this is 11 and this is 19 so ang last natin is 19 tignan natin that is 19 is natin ha ulitin natin that is how to find the frequency una is 1 sunod is 4 sunod is 5 next is 10 and this one is 10 next 11 next is 19 pag itutang natin lahat ito ang result niyan is n equals 60 that is how on to construct a frequency distribution table mag base tayo sa data we will find the value of k value of r the value of c or class size okay so that is example on how to construct a frequency distribution next we will find the value of mean median and mode base pa rin dito na table or frequency distribution table okay next video na yan